This short video demonstrates how to create a PERT chart using MacAnd on macOS or WinAnd on Windows. PERT stands for Program Evaluation Review Technique. It's a way for a project manager to organize, schedule, and coordinate tasks within a project. Here's an example of a PERT chart where each node represents a task, giving a brief description of that task, how many days it will take to complete the task, who it's assigned to, and a start and end date. You'll see directional arrows connecting those tasks to show time relationships between the individual tasks in that project. Although you can add captions, swim lanes, and other information on a per chart, you're mostly adding nodes uh, with the palette tools, and those nodes indicate different tasks and the information about those tasks, and then connecting them with uh, directional lines showing the dependencies. If we look at the details of a particular task, we see uh, we can give it a name, uh, a duration, assign it to a person. Uh, if we bring up the uh, holidays and vacations dialog, that's where we can designate all the holidays that are, design that are observed by our company, uh, whether or not uh, employees will be working weekends. We can create a list of employees and for each individual employee we can assign personal vacation days so that we don't schedule activities for those specific times. When drawing a new PERT chart, you'll probably start by just identifying all the tasks and the dependencies between those tasks kind of working from left to right across the diagram. Later you'll go back and assign the amount of effort to each task and assign it to a specific person. Finally, once you've identified all the tasks and the relationships and kind of scoped out how much work is involved, you'll need to uh, schedule that and you'll do that by uh, selecting a start date. Uh, and you can use a calendar for that. So in this case, we're going to start this task on September 5th. It automatically assigns an end date, taking into consideration the uh, holidays, vacations, and weekends, and stuff like that uh, for the specific person that it's assigned to. And as you go through and do that for each of the tasks in this project, it will uh, determine if there's any conflicts to ensure, for example, that you can't start a task until the preceding task has been finished. Uh, if you have multiple projects, you can create as many different diagrams as you want, each defining different projects. Some of the employees may appear on multiple uh, diagrams, you know, with, within multiple different projects, and the uh, tool will make sure that you don't have any overlaps between task assignments. During an ongoing project, things can be pretty dynamic. Uh, sometimes tasks take longer than expected. An employee gets sick, takes a vacation, or even quits. And so you'll have to make some adjustments. And there's a command that allows you to recalculate your per chart, uh, readjusting the uh, dates, identifying, and helping you to resolve any scheduling issues. There's also a handy feature where you can bring up a master calendar that shows all the employees and you can flip through each of the month and you'll see uh, which employees are assigned to various projects that can help with scheduling, especially when these employees are working on many different projects.